I finally got a hold of this new amazing creative grids ruler called the Bowl Cozy. Now there are hundreds if not thousands of Bowl Cozy patterns out there and they mostly all use a paper template so to be able to have a acrylic ruler is an amazing thing. Now this ruler does have two sizes, your standard everyday cereal bowl style and a larger one that can become like a fruit basket or a candy basket for Halloween since that's around the corner. I will have a link for you down below in the description and also if you click on that link and purchase the ruler from that store that I trust and have also purchased from this ruler as well, a small percentage will go towards the channel and I would highly appreciate it. Now what is also neat about this pattern is the instructions are written on the back so do keep that just in case you have never made a bowl cozy before and the cutting instructions are also written on the ruler itself too so I am so excited about this ruler and we will be making the smaller bowl cozy today. Now for the smaller bow cozy you will need two prints that are 11 inch squares. I have this cute fat quarter bundle that does match my kitchen decor so one fat quarter bundle can make one bowl cozy. You will have leftover fabric scraps and it will be one color which isn't as fun as two colors so I'm going to pair up some fat quarters and I will select my favorites and make a two print version which is basically going to become a reversible bowl cozy. Also, please note that when you are selecting your fabric, make sure it is all 100% cotton. I cannot stress this part enough. Warning. There are really cute metallic fabrics out there right now, but metallics are not microwavable safe. Also, don't forget to use cotton thread too when you're sewing everything together. But basically, everything must be microwavable safe. And if you plan on making these for others, do make sure they are microwavable safe as well. But with that warning out of the way, with your fat quarters, go ahead and iron them flat and then go ahead and cut an 11 inch by 22 inch strip roughly of fabric and then sub cut that into two 11 inch squares. Now you will see that I have some salvage edge on one of the squares and that is about a quarter inch size give or take. Don't worry this will be fine and it will actually get cut off when we cut out our shape. You can actually have a salvage edge about like a half an inch and you still won't see it but do be careful with some of the fabrics that do have those really large thick salvage edges. But anyways take two print 11 inch squares. I am using two different colors so it can become reversible and you're going to fold it in half twice like so. Now make sure your folds are to the left and the bottom of you and place your ruler on top and where it says the folded edge on the ruler of course line those up with your folded edge on the fabric. Then you're going to take your rotary cutter and start cutting out the darts and that curved edge and you are just going to repeat this to the other prints so you'll have two of these fun kind of like flower shapes but you will need two of them. Next you will also need two 11 inch batting squares as well and double fold it just like your prints and cut. Now cutting around that curve can be tricky with batting because your batting is thick and fluffy and it's just not nice or that easy but do take your time and go slowly around those corners and if you are still struggling with your batting they actually do make a pre-cut batting bowl cozies which are basically batting squares that are already pre-cut for you. I will also have a link down below in the description for you as well. But once you have two battings cut out take one and lay one of the prints directly on top. Now there are a few methods and ways we can go about this when we start sewing everything together. Method one is you can pin everything down and hold it in place, but I tend to always prick myself with the pins. 
when I start making the bowl shape. So I don't like to do that way. Method two is to sew one eighth of an inch all the way around the edge, but it is important to make sure that it is one eighth of an inch. So that way it will get hidden later on when we complete the next few steps. Now I'm going to go ahead and do that to one of these just to show you what that looks like. Now I did the one eighth trim all around the gray, hopefully, Hoping you can see it more clearly, but it is a little difficult to see on camera. But trust me, there is one eighth of a seam allowance all the way around. And last but not least, my favorite method is to just iron the two together with some steam. Once you iron them together, it's kind of like it sticks together like magic. But do not use a spray adhesive. Don't do it. But anyways, after you're done, whichever method you prefer, you're going to take the darts and place them right sides together, and you're going to sew them with a quarter inch seam allowance. Now, once you sew all of your four darts together, you will start to create this bowl-like shape, and we are almost done. So go ahead and take one of those bowls and turn it inside out or right side out basically the opposite of the other bowl cozy and you're going to place them right sides together so the batting will be on the outside and you're going to match all of your dark corners together and then you're going to take it to your sewing machine and sew a quarter inch around but do leave a two inch maybe three inch opening give or take so that way you can turn it right side out later now I like to leave the opening after the curve like it's heading down towards the dark corner area because closing the opening later on a curve is a little difficult for me. But do whatever is easier for you. Once you've done that go ahead and turn it right sides out and depending how big you left your opening it will determine how easy this will be the smaller the opening the harder it will be to turn out but once the bulk of it is through i like to place my fingers within that opening and kind of curve out those edges and the corners now there is a tool called the purple thing that's literally what it's called and i hear that helps and everyone loves it but i sadly don't have one but you can also use the end of a pin or a pin cap just to get those corners rolled out but once it's all rolled out and right side out I like to take it to the iron and iron those curves down flat because it's going to help us when we start sewing around. Now we do need to close everything out. Now with that opening you can either hand sew it which makes it look really nice but I am not a hand sewer so I am going to take it to the sewing machine and sew a fat eighth inch away about an inch but it's usually a little chunkier so that's why I call it a fat eighth inch away from the edge and all the way around and ta-da here it is it came out so cute and these are so quick to make this also makes great gifts around the corner for the holidays and because one is never enough I am going to go make some more and here we are I made a bunch and look they even stack up really nice and neatly too so you can store them in your cabinet shelf drawer wherever you would like and what I love about the bowl cozies is you can cut everything all at once and just get a bunch going and they're really quick and easy to do and here's what it looks like with a standard Corel cereal bowl, which it fits perfectly. And even if you have those taller, thicker ceramic cereal bowls, I think it will still work very nicely because there is a lot more room in it. But anyways, I do hope you have enjoyed this amazing new ruler on a product that kind of everybody makes. But if you could please take a moment to hit that like and subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can be notified for your next amazing project.